No, I'm chilling, man. I'm just chilling. It's kind of like raining outside. I don't really want to go all the way out, but I don't know. Just want to say what's good, man. How, how everybody been? You know what I'm saying? Hope everybody taking care of themselves and being cautious, but not in fear. I just definitely want to tell everybody that, man. Count your blessings and, and be grateful to be alive, man. You know, it's it's an unfortunate. <clears throat> a lot of a lot of people are, you know, that some of us know may be losing their lives to regardless of what it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, um I just definitely wanna say that I want everybody to be grateful and be grateful because you never know, like Life, like, from my personal experience, I could tell you that I used to always, like, question why I was alive or why I'm here. And, and you know, I used to be bitter about things that may have happened to me. But, you know, <clears throat> you go through trials and tribulations and you grow and you actually make proactive move to change your situation, then your eyes start opening up a little bit more and you start learning who you are. And then you start appreciating life more. You come in. You start appreciating life more, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it was always just important. Once I got a grip of everything, to always be grateful, even when times are stressful even when time to get stressful it's just always important to be grateful set man it's always important to be grateful you know what i mean and i always remind myself for that even when things may not be going my way uh i don't have the 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 quick solution to a problem i just still remain grateful i still stand in gratitude because honestly there's so much to be grateful for. Uh, me personally, I'm grateful for good health. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for a place to live. I'm grateful for food and shelter. You know, what they call the essentials because in reality for me, in reality for me, that what holds me together is knowing that all of those things that truly matter are, are within my grasp is within my control so i just i just honestly encourage you all to just be grateful i know it gets hard i know it gets rough but it's important that we are grateful because because the universe rewards that the universe rewards when you're grateful but you're also diligent you're diligent in your efforts and your works and you're staying focused, you're staying on track. So it's, 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 it's always a better way. It's always a better way to look at anything. It, no matter how you judge it, no matter no matter how bad it seems. I was just watching something the other day where they was like, you know, you could, um, I don't really know how it went, but basically about different people with, with deeper problems than that may be than yours. What's up, man? deeper problems than maybe yours but if you if you ask them to pull your problem out of the hat they would gladly take it and that stuck a lot to me and it meant a lot to me to hear somebody say something like that because you know even me still now you know even though I am grateful and you know I handle things better than I once did I'm still I'm still a work in progress when it comes to it you get what I'm saying so understanding that there's people worse off than me in worse situation helps me manage through whatever I got going on. Now that doesn't mean what you're going through is less important or what I'm going through is less important than anyone else. It's just when you put things in their proper perspectives, you know how to you know how to remain grounded, you know how to grow, you 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 understand that in life you're going to be challenged you're meant to be challenged but it's how you bounce back from it it's how you bounce back from these challenges 
it, it's it's that's that's where the true growth comes in. And once you feel that true growth, that's when you will learn how to find gratitude because you'll be grateful. You'll be grateful for the changes that you made. You'll be you'll be grateful for all of the experience that this universe took you through. So it's important it's important that we, we, we stay grounded, grounded, man. Grounded, man. And how you stay grounded is simply you can meditate, you can sit and reflect in silence for a good 10 minutes maybe, just to start off with. You can walk around, you know, those that feel comfortable to step outside. You know, you don't got to go around a ton of people. You can just walk around your block. You can write, you know what I'm saying? I, I've spoke, I spoke on this plenty of times, you know, it's different ways. You got to find something, you, you got, it's easy, like, listen, man, it, it's you shouldn't not have anything to be grateful for. Even if it's just as little as, and it's not even little. This is a big deal, waking up in the morning. But a lot of the times we take these things for granted. Like this time now, this current slowdown is teaching all of us what we may have took for granted. And what we value now and and what and who we truly appreciate. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So... I'm just going to stay grateful, and I want you all to stay grateful. Be grateful, man. Express express gratitude. Express gratitude, and whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up on your journey. Don't, give, don't, don't, don't turn your back on your path, even if, even if you get rerouted at times. Right now, I'm outside, man, you know. Just getting some air, appreciating the outdoors, and just glad that I can be out here, you know. So, so some people is in hospitals, you know. Some people is in prisons and, and, and incarcerated. Now, I'm not saying that they all are innocent or, or anything like that, but this is just my truth, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm grateful to not be in those situations, you get what I'm saying? I'm grateful for that. I want to definitely send peace and love out to anybody, any of my people currently battling mental health and mental illness that that may or may not be currently hospitalized. And sending love out to all the psychiatric wars across the world, honestly. You know what I mean? Honestly, and I'm grateful for all of the ones that I um, was fortunate enough to be placed at. And all of the great that it did for me, even the challenges, even the people that, that weren't as great to me, you know what I'm saying? They they helped in some sort of way. And especially I'm grateful for all of the doctors and the physicians that really was in it through their soul space, really was passionate about helping us and seeing us grow and shifting the paradigm and raising this awareness, which I'm so proud of. That's another thing that I want to say that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for the raised awareness around mental health. Excuse me. I'm grateful for that because about s- s- seven to ten years ago, when I was out here really battling the mental health and you know, and I was speaking out for it, it, it seemed like I always ran into a wall. It just was a lot of, it was a lot of ignorance towards it. It was a lot of dismissiveness towards it. But, but now, but now it's so many people, it's so many different outlets that's talking about it. So many people have came out, whether they be on TV, somebody big, or somebody just a day-to-day life like both of us. You get what I'm saying? And it's always been... I'm sorry, it's like a distraction going on behind me. It's always been special, though, man. Now that I've seen it, man, it's always been special to see people get better. Get better and and, and be comfortable enough to raise the awareness, to to, to speak speak about it, to to address and acknowledge there's something wrong with them, but that they want to get better. It's amazing, so... Like I said, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for everybody who's putting their hand into raising the awareness, okay?
So it's always going to be love, man. It's, it's always love. And it's always love from the soul because I am Sai Soul. So anyways, <laughs> you got to find something to be happy about, find something to be grateful for. And appreciate your life. Like I said, like I started this video with, appreciate it and understand that there, 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 there's something special for you as long as you keep pushing through. Stay focused. What's good, Lee? I'm saying, chilling. I'm saying, stay focused. But you know what, though? I gotta get up out of here. I gotta go make a little quick errand, make a little trip to the store so I can get inside and, you know. See who my Bengals pick first in that second round. That's the Cincinnati Bengals. I know I'm from Springfield, Mass, but I've been a Bengals fan since the late 90s, and that won't never change. I love them helmets. That's what started me, and it grew beyond that <laughs> 20 years later, right? All right, peace, love, and light. And remember, be grateful. Express gratitude.